Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Megabase series. In the previous episode we started to explore some of our surroundings in order to locate more ore veins and we also tapped into the crude oil and brought it over to our base so we can go for the next science pack today. In order to craft one chemical science pack per second we're gonna need quite a few materials and I'm gonna put them up right now using the factory planner mod. In here we can see exactly how many items we are going to need per second in order to achieve everything and I also try to limit the amount of assemblers and chemical labs we are gonna require so we can still keep this somewhat compact. In order to get started I want to pick up a couple of these materials here, especially uh, furnaces and also crafting machines. We need to go ahead and craft three oil refineries. The oil we're gonna process into petroleum and with the petroleum we can craft sulfur and plastics. Done with weapon shooting speed, let's go right into projectile damage 4. Either way I want to get rid of this machine, this is gonna be a little bit in the way. And then maybe somewhere around here I want to drag up a coal line. So we can just split this up and bring the coal up. Gonna bring this a little bit closer to our oil pipe. Now it's time to get these oil refineries going. And I also would like to see some power so we can light up the place. There we go, this is already looking much better. Let's get rid of these pipes and connect our oil refineries instead. In any way, shape or form, I'm just gonna pipe beneath the power poles. We're then gonna switch to recipe to refine some oil. We can see this is going for it and we are getting some petroleum in the process. The petroleum we're gonna extract out of the other side and then maybe it might be wise to set up a bunch of tanks. I'm just gonna go for a set of four and we can have that attached right here. Kind of mirror this design like so and so and we're now slowly filling this up. We're then gonna need two chemical plants for the next recipe. One is gonna go right here. This one is responsible for the plastic and then another one will be going here. So set this one to plastic, this one to sulfur. For the plastic we need the petroleum here but also the coal. So we're gonna bring that right in here and I believe one per second should be enough to do that. No, we might actually have to upgrade these inserters eventually but let's get this going first. You get some power and you get some power. The plastic is already going for it. For the sulfur we're gonna need some petroleum. Let's maybe do this more elegantly with underground pipes. So another one here and there. Okay and then we also need access to water. Let's go ahead and build a pump. If I can place it here that would be perfect. Now we can underground this up to here and then we're just gonna fall in line with the oil. And I'm gonna bring this all the way over to this point and we can start to insert it into the machine. Created a thousand military science packs already. Very nice. Let's get this going here. And we also have sulfur. Good. I'm just gonna bring this all the way down. We snuggle around here and we are gonna join the lines we already have. Now I'm going to need access to copper still. So I'm gonna swap this around a little bit. And of course let's not forget about the coal line. Very nice. Let's maybe first get going with crafting the advanced circuits. We're gonna need electronic circuits so that is gonna be our first goal. We need five of these assemblers mark II, only responsible for copper cables. So if I leave enough space we can do something like that. Another set right there. We're gonna need to extract these with fast inserters. I actually misplaced these. I can never touch the distance there. So you go right here and then I'm gonna need two extras. No, actually I'm only gonna need one extra. So I think I'm just gonna place that here. Yeah, so you're responsible for copper cable. All of you guys get these powered up somehow. I would say we can already bring in the copper line as such, have another inserter here and then we need to extract them evenly. So they're gonna be extracted out of the sides. That means we already fill up two sides of the belt and then for this last one I'm just gonna extract them on either side which is also gonna balance them. Then I can just bring them along here potentially. Now nah, let me get rid of that power pole, I can do it differently. These need to come down like so and I think I'm gonna combine them here in the center. So have a splitter here, have a splitter there. We can grab the copper wires from this side as well and put them into the splitter. And then right here in the center we're gonna merge the two lines together. We can then have another two Mark II assemblers responsible for electronic circuits. They will be taking their circuits here from the splitter and they will be outputting it right here. Have some power poles here and there. 
We then also need access to iron, which I'm gonna grab from here. We're just gonna go beneath that, beneath here, sure. And we'll be coming out the other side. I'm actually not gonna extract the materials here. I'm going to extract them here in the center. That makes more sense. So I can actually use this line here in order to feed them the iron. So you go in here and there. Great, okay. Getting the electronic circuits. Looking at the recipe, we could now go ahead and combine the electronic circuits and the copper cabling. So if we did something like that, we can easily connect these and then they are ready for the next crafting recipe. The iron eventually is gonna continue for a different recipe and then I guess we can go for the advanced circuit. We just need to get the plastic and sulfur line downstairs. Let's say we bring them all the way up to here. Yeah, this might actually be a good plan. We just hop over some of these and right here we might actually need a red underground belt so we can do the entire hop. Well, it's not technically a hop, it's a tunnel, but you know what I mean. And then I can just uh, continue this as such. So we are right here, ready with the material. I might even be able to relocate this power pole so I can have this nice. We can then come around here, get this all the way down and we have our three materials ready. The iron in the future is gonna continue like so and we need it to craft some gear wheels as well as pipes. But now with all the ingredients ready for the red circuits, we should go ahead and build them. We're gonna need 12 machines exactly in order to achieve the ratio we desire. So that's 12 assemblers right there for you in one line. We can go ahead and expand the belts all the way. Set up the recipe here, advanced circuits, copy that over. And then all we need is a whole bunch of inserters, long-handed and normal ones. I'm also already gonna place the ones in order to extract them out of the machine. And therefore the crafting spree can hopefully begin. Whoops, I totally flipped these inserters. They should be facing the other way. So now they are feeding my copper cable addiction. And I think what I'm gonna do in this case is just bring the circuits up again. Well, you look at that. We finally have access to red circuits. This is great. How is our power doing? Not too shabby. What I would like to see now is actually the sulfur continuing because we didn't make use of that just yet. Let's bring this all the way down here. And then if we do something with a splitter, let me actually do that and only uh, filter out sulfur. Now I can connect this again and only sulfur is gonna continue on this line. Oh, another research done. Great, great, great. What do I need next? Weapon shooting speed. Yes, it's also a long research. So it's not gonna bother us for a while. Let's now make a setup so this lands on the right side of the belt, just like that. And we have the two materials combined. And of course that combination is for the chemical science pack with sulfur, advanced circuits and engine units. So we need to take care of the engine units. What do we need for them? We need steel plates, iron gear wheels and pipes. With that out of the way, we can go ahead and take care of the engine units. We need steel plates, iron gear wheels and pipes. Let's maybe first think about the steel. We could go ahead and input that right there. We need eight steel furnaces in order to make this work materials coming in here let me see how we could achieve that we need some coal and we need some iron of course we will have to increase the amount of iron we'll be getting so don't worry about that just yet we'll be taking care of it we can now split the coal and the iron maybe continue the iron and continue the coal and now we have plenty of space to connect these two lines and we're gonna bring them right here and add a bunch of inserters extract the steel out of the other side and it can travel down where it's being needed. We now need two assemblers for the gears and one assembler for the pipes. Gears right here and just one lonely one for the pipes. No, these pipes here. These will need to be served with fast inserters and extracted out of the other side. And here I would like to combine the two materials so they go on one belt. And we might be able to extract it the other side and just go beneath here. And here we have the resulting belt. Now in order to craft the engine unit at a decent ratio, we're gonna need 14 assemblers Mark II. I'm gonna start that up right here. So we need three sets of twos and then we're just gonna mirror that on the other side. Oh, hold on. I actually need one extra space this time. So it's gonna go right here and this way I can fit a long-handed inserter in as well. And I can fit two lines. One line should be starting here. So actually going out this way would be slightly more elegant, though I'm gonna need one more material. Yeah, never mind. Let's forget about this and just grab the steel instead. And now we have our three materials here. We can go ahead and craft engine units. Copy that over for each and every one and power them all up. And now we can add our long-handed and normal inserters. 
We just need to extract the engine units all the way around and we're gonna collect them like so. They will fit on one side of the belt and we can bring this all the way around up again. Now, let's see, I think we're done. Yeah, we have sulfur advanced circuits and engine units. So all we have to do is kind of get these guys out of there, just using underground belts and we have access to them here. And now all we need is 16 assembling machines to craft the science packs themselves. And honestly, we could just get this started here. That's four. Okay, so this would be 16 assemblers. It kind of adds up perfectly. It's just there's going to be a little bit of wasted space and we might have to move them one over, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to need a second belt for these materials. However, we might be able to just underground belt them, honestly. Yeah, this might work. So if we bring this all the way up to here, we can feed all of these materials. And then the placement of the long-handed inserters needs to be correct. But it is with the usual design we're going for here. Get more of these inserters going now. Maybe set up the recipe. Oh yeah, give me the blue signs, please. And then of course we need a second line and split this up. So we also get these materials on the top. This is looking rather good. Now we're just gonna power up everything. Finally extract the science packs. Oh, created first chemical science pack. Very, very nice. So now we want to bring these to our laboratories, obviously. Let's try to be sneaky, go through here. Um, no, I need a long one. And then I guess all we have to do is bring these on the other side of the belt. Should be easy enough. Uh, give me one of these and then curve into here. Wonderful, blue science is ready for us. All we have to do is give this some lights. And then I guess we also need to take care of the supply now. We can already see we're not getting in enough iron, not at all. And that is because some of our miners stopped mining. There's no more ore to be gotten there. However, we can always go ahead and replace these miners and start salvaging the rest of the ore patch. We can go for the next research defender. Now one thing I'm gonna need is a couple of speed modules to make my design viable in terms of ratios. This mainly only concerns the refineries and the chemical plant. We need advanced circuits and speed modules. Let's maybe just grab a couple of electronic circuits here and I can already craft 13 more speed modules. We're gonna need two per refinery and three per chemical plant. So if I go ahead, have a look at that refinery, we can add two speed modules. And if we do that for each of the plants, I'm gonna have the correct ratio for what I need. 37.5 petroleum per second. Next research, we're getting into rocketry. Very nice. That is gonna make the critter hunting more bearable. Good, all three refineries are working. I had to redo some of the piping here, so it actually started doing something. Rocketry is finished, energy shield equipment. Juicy, juicy stuff. We're getting ready for the future. Now, I actually noticed we only need the speed modules here for this. This is going to make the crafting of the plastic bars much quicker, but that also means I need a quicker extraction method. And that should be plenty quick enough. Yes, indeed. So now if we check the ratios here, I'm getting, hmm, not per minute, per second, 3.2, which is slightly more than we actually need. We're also getting way more sulfur than we need, but that is just gonna queue up. It doesn't matter if the ratio is a little bit higher there. We also have the 37.5 or even more than that in terms of petroleum. So that is pretty good so far. Let's now take everything else into consideration. So everything that we built today in terms of ratios, yeah. We are crafting one science pack per second. We are getting two iron gear wheels. We only need one, so maybe I actually overdid it with the gear wheels. Maybe I did not calculate this correctly. But we're getting slightly more than one engine per second, which is what we need. We are getting three, that's also a good ratio. Copper cables are perfect and the advanced circuit ratios are perfect as well. Yeah, so oddly enough, I might have messed this up here and what's going on? Ooh, you need a little bit of that. Hello, this is Nathan from a future episode. I did realize that I just messed it up by inverting the two recipes. So what we actually needed were two assemblers for the pipes and just one for the gear wheels. I will not realize that in today's episode, but in the next one, so my apologies. At some point I also cut off the supply of steel here, which prevented the engine units from being crafted. All of that is gonna be fixed in the next episode. So without any further ado, let's continue where we left off. So yeah, I think at this point the only thing we need to fix is the amount of iron we are smelting. One full belt is clearly not enough. So the next episode is probably gonna be about tapping into another deposit. 
just to celebrate everything, I'm now going to go into my first advanced research with the blue signs here. And it is going to be advanced oil processing, making everything a little bit more complicated, but also useful with the introduction of heavy and light oil. But we're going to start researching that now to wrap things up. And as a matter of fact, what we need to do is increase the speed here of our labs. And if we do that, we can still supply all of them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is good enough. Most of the time they're going to be active. Maybe just for a slight second, they're going to stop. Yeah, just every now and then. But the time loss is minimal. The most important part is now that we actually supply this factory with the amount of raw resources it requires. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye bye.